Well, speaking of Samoa bump. Joe, April 21st, AEW man, Dynamite. History, man. You defeat Samoa Joe for the AEW World Championship. And in doing so, you become just the eighth black wrestler of a major promotion to become world heavyweight champion. Yes. I know this wasn't lost on you. And for people who don't know, let's just go down the list. We had Ron Simmons, The Rock, Mark Henry, Booker T. That was out of order, but they still did oh, it. Oh, no, absolutely. Kofi Kingston, Bobby Lashley, Big E, Swerve Strickland. I also want to give respect to Moose, Rich Swan, who did it in TNA. Mm -hmm. Uh, our yes. truth, Ron our Killings, truth. NWA yeah. heavyweight champion, yeah. Jonathan Gresham, Jay Lethal, ROH. also ROH, but of the major organizations, which I guess there are two, mm. you became number eight. What was that feeling like? And what, like, did you feel any pressure? Did you feel oh, yeah. like as, as you a main had event, to yeah. make this work? Because if your title reign doesn't work, and that might hurt the next man up. You yeah. Know, like you. So what were you feeling at that moment? Uh, because at the, the moment, fans yeah. really, we talked yeah. about this. The fans yeah. really it got to a point where it was just like, we knew. Yeah. Okay. The it's next champ is Swerve. This is, this is a mm. given. We've already decided. Now, Tony, you just got to listen. Yeah. Doesn't always work. In your case, it worked. Uh, I was relentless with it. Um, I, I didn't want to necessarily like, push Tony for it because that's not how I work. I didn't want to do the pol political game. I was like, my work is always going to have to speak for me. Mm -hmm. Always. I have to get better in promos. And then also, like, not getting better in promos it doesn't mean just, like, you just talk like a wrestler. I got to find my voice, too. Yeah. I Like, I can't sound like MJF. I can't sound like Christian. I can't sound like Copeland. I can't sound like, Kings like Kingston. Um, uh, uh, you know, I, I, like, I can't sound like these other guys that are already doing their thing with, it. I got to find what swerve would sound like. And that's, what's going to carry the title reign mm -hmm. after that. Like if I focus on this now, that's, what's going to help carry into whatever feud, whatever people I go after or come after me, you know what I mean? Um, so I had to level up there. I had to level up on my body. I had to be responsible like being there on time, being there early, leaving late. I had to be the one that's like, you always see swerve somehow. Then I had to do the work outside of the ring, outside of the arena and put me on press. I want to do media. I want to do this. I want to dress the part. Mm -hmm. I want to promote. I ha I wanted to just be the most well-rounded champion. Not like, Oh, he's the best black champion. No, I wanted to be a well-rounded champion period. So I had to do a little bit more of like this, like finding out, learning the business. Mm -hmm. And um, earning my keep and talking like great about the company, which is not just like peace, like PR stuff. This is how I genuinely feel, but I'm also going to say it in a way that I see it in my vision of it. Are we perfect? Absolutely not. No place is perfect, but these are, these are the reasons why this place means something to me and should mean something to the fans that either aren't fans or the fans that are fans appreciate what we have and what we're going and what I want to bring you on that ride and educate and bring people with me into the product. And I want to be the face of why you like tuned in and why you stay. So all those things I wanted to just like, like before it gets to just the wrestling, <laughs> that has to be all taken care of. Now I'm given the ball. Boom. I'm a, like I said, I'm very patient. I know it's always going to go up. A lot of people were frustrated and like wanted to see this, wanted to see this. They're not getting this. Why are they treating this? I'm like, good. That means you care. Yeah. Like I want, I rather you voice your concerns and your dis displeasures mm -hmm. rather than just like, eh. Oh, well. Right. Yeah. No, you care. You want to see it. Therefore, you're going to keep watching to see if it does eventually happen. And that's eventually, and that's what did happen. The title reign did nothing but go up, which I said was going to happen on busted open radio. Yeah. I said, I was, it was like, don't worry. We're going to keep rising. It only gets better and it's going to get better again. And it's going to get better again. Then you're going like, I'm the, I think I'm the only world champion to be on dynamite collision rampage all in the same week. Yeah. I'm the only, I'm the only one to ever do that. You know? Um, like then it was, then it was about finding out like what history can I make with it? 
what, 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 what really is like untapped that I haven't done? Let me do some things. Let me go out, take the championship, like make a mi- music video with it with Bun B. Right. You ain't seen the AEW world title on no <laughs> music video. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'll do it mm-hmm. with Legends. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's not like in some backyard or like on the phone. No, I want to make it right. Right. Make I want to do as much with it as I can and put this championship in a different light that only I can do it. Um, so there was that. That was the challenges. The matches, I like, okay, me and Osprey, next up. Mm-hmm. I know this boy from like 10 years ago. Great match. Yeah. Like, but I'm going to always put Will in a different element because we know what Will can do. We've seen it for a while. Yeah. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in my world now. I'm going to fight you. Yeah. I'm going to try to hurt you. And like I said, this championship means more than our friendship. This this championship, like 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 Will was is on another level, but Swerve is at a different level. Yeah, different and, ball game. And and I wanted to show the world, like, well, you you want like this is the face of the company. This is the guy. I'm like, I, I agree. He is in, incredible, but in my world, mm. there's still a ways you got to go. And that's why I wanted to showcase with Will. And we did. He did that. We have amazing chemistry. It's never left. Never gone anywhere. It told a different story. That took the title. Like okay, all right. There is another height to this, you know, because Will's been amazing, having great matches, but he never main evented till mm-hmm. he faced me. So that goes to show the prestige yeah. is up here. So great as you are, you still another platform you got to jump to. Mm-hmm. There's levels to this. It is There's levels. It is, and we did that. We accomplished that well. And now you want to see Will's journey to get back there. So I created his story arc too through mine. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, like I had to go through a little lull with Christian. I had to lose some things as a champion. You have to lose a little bit too. So I lost the, you know, the mogul embassy. They Mm -hmm. turned on me. I I, like, I used them to get to my success and I left them behind, you know, even though I got them wrestling Kenny Omega and Jericho, I got them wrestling the Bucks for title mm. matches twice and, and Hangman. I mm. got them on the main roster, like on AW, doing some things, but they still feel like they were slighted. I'm like, okay, cool. Mm. I'm going to take you all out in one segment on Collision. Mm. And I'll save Brian Cage for last. <laughs> and then, but then Nick Wayne has to get his revenge back on me too because I wronged him. Mm. Okay, little man, you think you ready? <laughs> Let me show you. Let's go. It? And then Nana came back in the fold. So it was like a little curving story arcs right there. And I think that's another way we took the championship in another direction. It was like, let me fight from under because Christian, he's 50, 50 years old and veteran. He's not the the nasty brute beat you down guy. He's going to be smart and yeah. use all these other tricks around me. And I got the, the uh, six foot six dragon. You got to, that. Ooh. I got to slay eventually. And, but on top of all that, I still got the EVPs moving yeah. things around. You know, playing the political game with me, you know, so we stacked the deck against me, and I don't think we've seen that with a champion for a, a while. Mm. But then I learned, and then I grew, and then I got aggressive. Now I'm the one, like in the driver's seat, going forward. Now I'm the one making history at Wembley. Now I'm like on the street now. Yeah. So I'm really proud of like putting, like my like. I'm really proud of like putting that championship and there's just a different light that it was a short time, but it was impactful. Yeah. It was quick. It was bow, but it hit yeah. like you like my, those matches, those championship matches are going to be like talked about in the history for a while. And I said on the breakfast club, like Doug Williams on that um, evolution of the black quarterback, mm-hmm. he said, if you write the history book of the NFL, but in my case with a W, can they leave you out of it? They no. can't now. Yeah. That's the impact. That's That's the legacy. You can't leave me out of the history of this company anymore. Like, and now with like the new contract I signed, you can't leave me out of the history of wrestling. Yeah. Which that's where that championship went to. Watch new episodes of no contest wrestling every Wednesday or listen wherever you get your podcast. And don't forget to follow us at no contest wrestling podcast on Instagram.